Hello Shed family, thanks for tuning in. We are on the cold water lot today. I thought we would go over a little bit of the styles of roofs for our metal buildings. I also want to let everyone know that the free shed giveaway actually starts now. So anybody coming in between now and the end of May is eligible to get their shed for free. I don't know why I always got to close these doors. The flooring is made to be in the elements, but for some reason, must be OCD. Can't walk by it when it's open. All right, so there is three types of roofing. Um, roofing, roofing, I call it roofing, but three types of roofing you can get with the steel buildings. This is what comes standard. This is what you call a rolled rounded roof. Okay, so the panels are going to run horizontally and you can kind of see you're going to have that rolled rounded roof. This is somewhere in the neighborhood of a 212 pitch. So you gain about two feet um, over your sidewall height through the roof. And that's just from where your sidewall ends to the peak is about two feet taller. So um, you cannot get this in vertical. So if you go with the standard roof, this is our most economical option. It's always gonna be horizontal and it's always gonna be rolled rounded. So this is what they call a rolled rounded roof. So again, this is our RV port. Let me get back here. Now they do make products on Amazon in places of that nature. Uh, spray wax that you can put on these roofs so that stuff will just slide right off. But this is not as good at dispersing water and snow as the other two roofs. So, sorry guys, this one's really tall. So anyways, this is our rolled rounded roof. Now your next upgraded option is to go to an A-frame roof. So there is a A-frame horizontal and there is a A-frame vertical. Since we started with the economy roof, we'll go down here to the mid-grade roof. And that would be switching to the A-frame but keeping the panels horizontal. So, we're coming down here now. So the A-frame roofs come in a 312 pitch. You get about three feet increase height in the middle from the sidewall, meaning if you have 10 foot sidewalls, your interior will peak at about 13 feet of uh, headroom, I guess you would say, of space. Now this is the A-frame horizontal. So this might be kind of hard to see. But as you can see, the panels are still running horizontally on this one. It does have the A-frame, so it's not rolled rounded. This is better at dispersing water and snow, but it's still nowhere near as good as a vertical roof. So you can see the panels in here running horizontally. So this is what we call our A-frame horizontal roof. Generally speaking, this is about one to three hundred dollars more than the rolled rounded roof. So it doesn't do much difference other than the appeal. Some people don't like that rolled rounded carport look. They prefer this A-frame outbuilding look. So if you're okay with the horizontal roof, but you want more of a typical roof look, you can go with the A-frame horizontal. Again, A-frame vertical is the best way to go, but we've all got a budget and stuff we have to stay within. So, I've got two A-frame horizontals here. One right here and one down here. We'll go down to this one. It's a little lower, easier to see. So this is still a 312 pitch, just like the A-frame horizontal. What you can see here, like I said, is generally speaking on a building like this, you're gonna gain about three feet from there to the peak and then back down. Now you can see the panels from back here um, are vertical. So this is our A-frame vertical roof. Now this normally runs kind of building this size. Um, if you wanted to do the rolled rounded roof, it would be included. If you wanted to upgrade to the A-frame horizontal on a building this size, you'd be about 250. 
and this roof is about 1500 so let's take a look inside so generally speaking it is about twelve hundred dollars more on a building this size than the a-frame horizontal and about fifteen hundred more than the rolled rounded um, but you know this is a one-time purchase so this is definitely the best roof in terms of uh, snow load capacity and disbursement of water and snow you can see all the cross bracing that's required for the vertical panels so you do get better snow load so there's a lot of reasons to go with the a-frame vertical however we don't push you into any roof it's about what your budget can afford and what you're comfortable with like i said again this is a completely different look than the rolled rounded so some people prefer this look this is more of a standard house two-car garage look the rolled rounded is more of a carport look so i thought we would go over that a little bit today because um one thing I want to talk about a little bit is the cost of a building. So I've been seeing a lot of buildings advertised on Facebook or things of that nature. And uh, being in the steel and wood industry, I'm very familiar with the pricing across all the suppliers. And sometimes you see one of those too good to be true or I'll have a customer call. I'll quote a building out at about 14,000 and they'll say, well, I got a quote for 9,800 yesterday. So I can't pay that. So I wanted to discuss the reasons why. And here's the reason why. Um, number one is the roof. So the roof plays a big point. As we discussed, this roof is 1500 more than that roof and it's 1200 more than that roof. So this $13,000 build, if I went with A-frame horizontal, immediately is gonna be down closer to the 11 to 11.5 range. The other thing is the gauge of the steel. Now, because this is a display model, we use 14 gauge. This is just for display purposes. So this is the less thick gauge, but uh, all our buildings we quote are 12 gauge. That gives you a 20 year warranty, and that's the premium steel. So in this building, to go from this 14 gauge to 12 gauge is about $1,000. So between that and the roof, we can be as far as $2,500 difference. If you go with a rolled rounded roof and the 14 gauge, you're now about $2,500 less. Secondly is the panels. Panels can run one of two ways. Uh, one way they run is vertical like this. Um, vertical requires extra bracing and supports, as you can see here. You can see all the extra supports and bracings. So vertical siding is more expensive than horizontal. For instance, on this building, it's $1,400 more to get the premium vertical siding. So if you add that in with the roof and the 14 gauge, now you're up to about $3,900 less. And last but not least is anchoring. So anchoring, and this is a horrible example because our ground is so unlevel, but anchoring sometimes is not included in quotes because they tell you they have to know what surface you're going to build on, grass, gravel, dirt, concrete, asphalt. So again, we're now talking about anchoring on this building is about $300. So that puts us about $4,200 higher than if this was built with basically all the bottom line options and no anchoring. And that's where you're seeing these buildings that are coming in thousands cheaper. If they were truly the same quality, um, then that would be the only place, you know, selling them. If gas is a dollar somewhere and three dollars everywhere else, it's going to be real hard for the three dollar a gallon guy to stay in business. But the fact is, you get what you pay for. We don't have a problem doing budget builds because um, they're still useful and a lot of people need them. So if you need to be in that range, we, we can do that for you. But just understand that the difference in buildings there's always a reason why there's always a spot where the money's coming from um, unfortunately this day and age with building materials so high nobody can give you a fourteen thousand dollar building for nine grand as much as i'm sure they want to it's just not feasible so understand that when you're getting these quotes there's a reason why and it's usually subpar materials now that being said i'm not knocking them we build plenty of 14 gauge 
plenty of horizontal sidings, plenty of rolled roofs, and that's perfectly fine, but those people are aware of what they're getting, where these other people may be comparing apples to oranges. So we're happy to fit your budget. If you have something you're looking to get and you have a budget to stay in or you want to do the no credit check lease to own and you have a payment you're trying to stick around, let us know. We will be happy to design for you. That's why our name is Just Wood and Steel Sales and Design Center. Our goal is to make sure you get what you need at a price you can afford. So, that being said, I just wanted to go over some of that. <clears throat> Other issues are doors. This is called our standard door. It's kind of like a mobile home door. Um, not my favorite, kind of cheap. These are our single pane cheap windows. So there's a lot of ways here too. You can get these um, bigger, you can get double pane, you can get premium windows, you can get steel doors, you can get cottage doors with windows. There's a lot of ways that prices can vary on these buildings. So just make sure wherever you're getting a building, you're aware of what you're getting. There's nothing wrong with shopping around. There's nothing wrong with going with the best price. Just make sure you know what you're getting for that price and you're comfortable and okay with the product. So, the last thing is free shed giveaway. So, as I mentioned, anybody who purchases a shed between today, April 23rd, and the end of May, will have a chance to have that shed paid for in full by us. So, uh, there is a purchase necessary, and if you don't win, you're still obligated to continue paying on your shed if you're doing payments, but uh, one lucky winner will get their shed paid for in full. So guys, come on down. We have two locations participating in this, Fremont, Indiana and Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in. I really do. I'd like to give you guys some information, all that stuff. Um, like I said, I just wanna be up front with you guys and let you know some of the ins and outs of steel buildings. So hey, uh, give us a call, 517-753-3210, or go ahead and look us up at justwoodandsteel.com. As always, I appreciate it, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for tuning in.